Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. Solar panels don't just generate renewable energy and save money. They can also assist in keeping your house or business cool and save energy. A team of researchers at UC San Diego Jacobs School of Engineering have carried out a study of the cooling benefits of rooftop solar modules. Using thermal imaging, the researchers found that their solar array reduced the amount of heat hitting the roof by about 38%. Additionally, the panels kept heat in at night during winter. While there are, of course, more efficient ways to insulate buildings, this research has found an added energy efficiency bonus achieved through installing a rooftop solar system. A report from the USA's Brookings Institute has found that the nation's booming clean energy sector offers more opportunity and better pay than many other jobs. The report identified clean energy jobs as those that produce goods or services providing an environmental benefit. The sector currently employs 2.7 million people in the U.S., from manufacturing to waste management and transport services, more than the entire fossil fuel industry. Pay for those employed in clean energy jobs was found to be 13% higher than the national median. The University of Utah will be the first to own a specialty solar installation called Solar Ivy. The creators of this plant-like solar technology are New York design company Sustainably Minded Interactive Technology. Using advanced thin-film solar technology, the flexible leaf-shaped solar panels are fixed onto a stainless steel mesh anchored to a wall or sunny rooftop. Three different thin-film panels, or leaves, are used in solar IV, including organic PV, amorphous silicon, and advanced copper indium gallium selenide. The installation varies from 0.5 watts to 4 watts of electricity generated per leaf, dependent on the type of thin film panel used. Solar Sister is training and supporting women in Africa in the creation of solar micro-businesses that help address rampant energy poverty through the sale of solar-powered lights. Based on a direct sales network concept, the Solar Sister program helps these women generate income while bringing cleaner and safer lighting to communities. Kerosene is still widely used in poorer parts of Africa as fuel for lighting. It is expensive for families who spend up to 30% of their income on energy, generates toxic fumes, and emits high levels of carbon dioxide. Currently, there are over 100 solar sisters operating in three sub-Saharan African countries who have brought solar light to over 4,300 villages. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.